so as it's really horrible weather in England right now which means I can't go outside and film any fashion videos for you I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity for me to film my piercings video which has been really highly requested from all of you it's one of those videos that people either really 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 want to see or they really don't have the time of day for but I wanted to get this out the way because I've pretty much got all the piercings that I wanted and so many of you keep bugging me for it so I'm gonna do it and I promise I will do a tattoos video soon once I've got the last one that I want to get. To make this a little bit easier for you and a little less boring, if you just want to know about certain piercings, what I'm going to do is in the down bar, I'm going to list all the piercings that I've mentioned and then I'm going to put like a little time next to them and that time will be the time in the video where I start talking about the piercing. So if you just want to know about my nose piercing or you just want to know about my scaffold, then you can just be like, oh scaffold starts at 320, let's click on to 320 in the video and there it is. The first part of this video I have asked you guys to send me in your questions on Twitter and Facebook. I'm going to answer all those for you and then the second part will be me talking about every single piece that I've got, when I got them, how long they took to heal, the pain threshold on kind of a scale of one to five. I'm not going to go into kind of too much depth with kind of aftercare and cleaning and all that because I did a video about a year ago on my piercings and I really 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 dislike that video but it's still up so if you want to go see it I'll link it in the down bar I talk a lot more about kind of the jewellery that it gets pierced with um, how certain piercings gets pierced and um, the aftercare what I use to clean my piercings and that this video I just want to purely try and keep as short as possible but I have a feeling this could be a long one first things first I'm not going to state the prices of things because it's personal to every shop and to be honest, it shouldn't really matter how much it costs. You know it's not going to cost hundreds of pounds to get a piercing. They're always between 20 to 60 pounds, depending on where you're going and what you're getting. Next question is, what do my parents think? This is quite funny because my dad would prefer me to have tattoos and piercings, which just doesn't even make sense. My mum just hates piercings, but to be honest, you know, um, I didn't start getting more piercings till I was nearly 18 and she's never been one to say no you can't do what you want to do um, and so she really wasn't happy and she really hates them but she lets me get on with it. So do I want any more piercings is the next question and yeah I do, there are some piercings that I would love but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get and then there was one that I'm kind of debating between and that's my rook. The rook is like the little bit here, uh, I can't really see it, it's like the little bit here in your cart I don't know google it <laughs> google's your best friend because I'm really struggle with like cartilage piercings and them going lumpy I don't think it's the best or smartest idea for me to go and get one but um, we'll see a lot of you have said is there a way of hiding your piercings because a lot of you you want to hide them from like school or parents which I don't want to be telling you how to hide them from your parents so shh, I didn't tell you or you know are there some good like fake ones out there I think if you want to hide piercings the best thing to do is to get fake piercings you can get a lot of fake nose rings which can be put as lip rings or septum rings um, on eBay I don't have any links but they're very easy to find and they're easy to just put on and remove not so much fake lobe ones you can get but um, definitely like hoops I did have one to begin with to see if I liked my nose ring so on to all the piercings that I have I actually have quite a lot I'm not going to tell you exactly how many I have you can make that up for yourself because I don't know one piercing could count as two or one to some people so I'm not gonna get into like a big argument about that I'm gonna rate each piercing on a scale of one to five five being the most painful obviously if I rate something five out of five it's not the same kind of like pain as breaking your leg or giving birth it's just on a kind of a piercing scale and again everyone's different and um, it depends on your piercer and your pain threshold and how you're feeling that day so what might be painful for you might not be painful for me what might be painful for me might not be painful for you so my first piercing was when I was about seven or eight I think and I had it done at my local hairdressers and I just said mum I really want my um, first holes pierced and she was like you sure because um, she never did them on me when I was a baby she just kind of wanted me to make my own choices and I was like yeah I really want to have them done and I can't remember the pain but I do remember it was snowing at the time and my mum didn't have a car and the buses weren't going because of the snow and I remember like scoot like scooting home on my scooter and my ears had just been um like done and they were like so cold and then I didn't have a piercing until I was like 17 and like three quarters literally it was like a month before my 18th birthday and up until then I was like oh I hate piercings like I mean I didn't really have anything against them but I never really thought I would want piercings or that I'd be a piercing girl myself and then all of a sudden I don't really know what happened I was like 
I want to have my second lobes pierced. And on a scale of 1 to 5, I'd probably say 1.5. I would say 1, but I put the extra 0.5 because they, it was done with like a really big spring charged gun and they make so much noise and the force is like probably the most painful bit. It's not the actual piercing, but like afterwards my ears were like burning so much and the actual like gun itself makes so much noise when it goes off that it's actually more scary than painful and they healed up really really quickly and I've actually got them stretched now to five millimeters that's different than in America I think American sizing for like stretching is a lot different than English sizes and I did it in the space of about four weeks which is really bad I know I'm really impatient and I wanted it done there and then um so yeah I pretty much went up um, one millimeter every week which I don't advise it made it more painful and uncomfortable than it needed to be but on a scale of one to five for stretching I'd probably say a one I got my tunnels off I think I got them off eBay or somewhere on Google they're really really easy to find or just go to your local piercer I get asked a lot where do I get like all my piercing jewellery and just go to your local piercer. The next one I got, I kind of jumped into the deep end and I got my scaffold or industrial, whatever you want to call it. And that's basically two cartilage piercings joined up by a bar just across your ear. Now I'd say that's only really just healed for me and even now I think it's still kind of healing. I got it maybe three weeks after I got my second holes pierced. Probably at the time I would have said it was maybe a four out of five for pain. Now I'd probably say a Three. and the healing time I'd have to say I got it in December 2010 and it's only pretty much just healed for a long maybe about six months it was really painful and then after that it started to get less painful but I've got really bad like um, scar tissue on it where it's like lumpy tea tree oil helps it a little bit but it's not great but I won't take it out because I'm stubborn the next person I got I actually had a break and I had it done probably a year to like close to today really um, I had it done in like April last year I was actually really scared to have something put through my face but it honestly wasn't that bad it's the tiniest little needle and it's a little bit weird when it's just hanging just hanging out your like nose and you're looking down and you're like what is that but it only stings like a tiny bit most people's eyes water so if your eyes water it's totally normal mine didn't I'm weird like that I don't know what's wrong with the nerves in my nose a lot of people ask me you know do you have to tell them if you want a nose ring in or a stud if you do get a stud first you know tell them if you do want to change it to a hoop because I had to tell my piercer that because um, they have to do it a little bit lower down. Pain wise I'd probably say 2.5, it wasn't that bad and afterwards, about an hour afterwards it felt like I'd been like punched in the side of my nose but then a couple of days later it didn't hurt at all, um, stung a little bit when I cleaned it. After that it healed pretty quickly, there were a few complications like a few times I got like next to it like a really it looked like a really horrible like red spot I don't know what it was but it kept like growing next to like my nose piercing and I was like oh god and it's horrible because I felt really self-conscious about it but after I'd had my nose pierced for um, a good kind of like five six weeks I knew that it probably healed enough that I could put tea tree oil on it so I put tea tree oil on it and just seemed to like heal it in like within days and then about eight weeks after eight nine weeks after I had the nose ring put in and I don't think it was completely healed because it did upset it quite a bit and it did hurt when I got it changed. I got the piercer to change it for me. The little red lump did start to come up so I put a bit of tea tree on it and it went and I've had no problems since. And seriously, a lot of you guys ask me how do I maintain my nose piercing and it's fully healed and I don't do anything to it. The next piercing I got was like three days after and that was my helix which is just basically um, one single cartilage piercing. That didn't hurt too much because I'm so used to piercings probably say like 2.53 the one thing I don't like about cartilage piercings is that I find that they crunch but that's not for everyone so don't freak out or get scared about getting one it's a little bit lumpy just like my scaffold which is why I don't want to get my rook and the piercing I got after that was probably in June I think and that was my septum now a lot of you won't realize that I've got that a lot of you do know that I have it and you're like why don't you wear it out in your videos well, that is because I feel like it clashes with my nose ring. If like I don't have my nose ring in, I'm more than happy to have my septum out. It's a love or hate kind of piercing and I think I nearly gave my mum a little heart attack when I told her I had it done. A lot of you guys probably think it's like one of the worst piercings to get and it was probably one of the best to get and the best to heal. If you're not too squeamish, just get like your thumb and your finger and go like that along like the top of your nose. Obviously I can't because I've got metal in the way. But you'll feel that there's like a really thin bit of skin. That's like the soft spot. 
and that's where they actually pierce it so it's normally quite high up and very thin and if you do it at a good piercer they will know what they're doing and it should be too painful it was quite intimidating when I got it done I mean I had to lie down in a chair and have a light shot in my face and have like Garth like stand right over my head but I knew that he was going to do a good job and it didn't really hurt that much I'd probably say it was like a 2 out of 5 for pain the only bit that kind of like stung was when the needle went in um, it didn't sting when it went through and then it kind of stung when it came out and then he put the jewellery in, I looked at it with the retainer like down, I was like woohoo, and then I flipped it up. For the first 24, 48 hours, I literally felt like someone had hit me in the face with a bulldozer. I was in so much pain, and I went out that night as well, and it kept getting knocked, and people were knocking their drinks and their hands and their elbows into my nose, and I could have yelled with, like, pain, like, it's worse than getting your nose done, because it's such a sensitive area, and, oh my god, it was so painful, but then after that, Within a week, I was flipping it up and down, I was taking it out, cleaning it properly. When you first clean it with salt water, it stings so much, and your eyes really water. It's such an easy piercing, and I haven't had to do anything with it since. After my septum, I had a long time where I didn't have any piercings, and I didn't get my third lobes done until, I want to say, either before or after Christmas. It was kind of around Christmas 2011 and the shop that I always go to now refuse to use guns whatsoever they use needles for everything even lobes now and I just thought oh good god it's going to be horrendous and it was actually so much better than getting it with a gun the pain afterwards is a lot better as well so the pain during him piercing my third lobes with a needle by hand I'd probably say was like a one and when I left the shop my ears didn't even burn or go red and then the last piercing which is kind of I don't know why it's embarrassing to admit because um, I've watched other gurus on here that have had maybe worse and a lot of you are going to go, oh, why have you had that done? Or some of you are going to go, kudos to you, that is so cool. Yeah, I'm just going to put it out there. I've got my left nipple pierced. And I know a lot of you that want this done are going to really value an opinion on this. Now, I don't want to scare anyone. I'm just going to put it out there. Five out of five for pain, personally. But I've read a lot of things on like Tumblr and YouTube and some people have said you know for them it's actually been pleasantly okay compared to what they thought it was going to be but then my friend Sam who has his nipple pierced told me before that it was bloody painful and I was like thanks Sam like really made me scared so I went in there really hyped up thinking I was going to be really painful and I kind of in the back of my head thought right I think it's going to be really bad so hopefully I'll just be surprised and it won't be that painful and I'll be like oh whatever what was I worried about I, I was really wrong. It's obviously done with a hand needle and it's it's quite, it's not fast but it's not like slow. It was really painful and it felt like it went on for longer than it obviously did and it kind of felt like he was putting it through my whole boob. I did a lot of swearing, <laughs> I was like, I was literally like laying there and I don't know what the people must have thought standing outside the curtain. I was literally just lying there going. And then when he put the jewellery in, it just felt like he was almost piercing my nipple again. I, I would love to have my right nipple done as well and have like two, but I, <laughs> I'm about 99% sure I can go through that again. You might have a better experience than me. I mean, the actual like experience itself is in like the person who pierced it and how well he did, you know, was all good. It was just the pain. But like I said, everyone's different and I really, really don't want to scare you, but I feel like I need to give you an honest opinion. A lot of you probably are going, but wasn't that embarrassing? Well... Yeah, it was to an extent. I don't know whether this was better that I was actually quite friendly with um, Garth because I have him on Facebook and he's done loads of my piercings and when I go there for my tattoos as well, he always pops down to see how I'm doing. But I don't know whether that made it better or made it, whether it made it worse and whether it would have been better to have someone I didn't know or whether it would have been better to have a female. They don't have female piercers there, so I don't know. Like I felt more comfortable going to someone that I trusted. And to be honest, he somehow found out about my YouTube through a couple of people that went in and had piercings there and... He was asking me about it and I was just laying there and we were talking and laughing about my YouTube and yeah, I kind of strangely forgot that I had kind of everything on, on show, which was strange, but you know, to be honest, they see it all the time, they're just like doctors, um, you know, doctors, you know, see it all the time, you can't help but get embarrassed, but at the same time, you have to think to yourself, they see it all the time, it's just like Garth said to me, you know, He's done much worse piercings before, if you really want it done, you know, the piercer's not going to laugh in your face or judge you or you know, anything like that. So that was my piercings video, I hope it's not too long, I'm going to try and make it as short as I can, and I hope you enjoyed it and that I answered all your questions. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try and answer them all, and yeah, I will see you in my next one, and I hope you enjoyed it, and a tattoo video will be done when I've had my next tattoo done, but I'm not telling you what it is yet. Bye!